Hi, welcome back to Knit for Brains podcast. I'm Laura Brady. I'm Karen Miller. This is episode 180 of our crafting podcast. You can find us on Ravelry, Instagram, Facebook, and Knit for Brains designs on Etsy. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Loopy Stitcher, all one word, spell L U P Y. And then I have a few designs underneath Loopy Stitcher Designs on Ravelry. Weather report? Oh, this spring is like schizo. <laughs> the crazy part is that we had snow, sleet to snow, Friday. It was really hit, hitting hard as we were driving up north to Chicago. <coughs> but yet, it's nice enough that, like, even I'm experiencing allergy problems. <laughs> I go out and I instantly have to blow my nose. Mm -hmm. Well, it's very windy, mm -hmm. which I was just oh, looking. Yeah. Um, tomorrow is going to be 60, but very windy. But by Friday, 62. Saturday, 71. There we go. Yeah. That's more like what we have. So it's going to be warmer this yeah. upcoming week because we were warm and then it mm -hmm. kind of zooped down again. So yeah. we got a lot of rain coming again. Yeah. We're having extreme highs and extreme lows and... <laughs> Lots and lots of rain. Nothing in between. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's not balancing out. It's just <laughs> yeah, up it's and been down. crazy. Alrighty, um, shop news. I did an update, but I sold a lot. <laughs> That's great. So let me show you some of the couple new ones that I have in there. I have cocktail hour in the sock drawstring bag. I have only two of those left. This one, I only have one left. I sold all the others. I see this. And guys, open. look how cute it is. Little mm -hmm. scrappy front that I quilted. It's got blue on the back. And this is the same size as that strawberry shortcake one I made mm -hmm. that I love the size. So white inside. It's been so hard for me not to um, <laughs> just take this one. And it's even in my colors. Mm -hmm. And it's got sparkle fabric to worked in. I love it. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. And then I only have two of the medium cocktail hour bags left in the drawstring. And that is Knit for Brains Designs on Etsy. I sold a lot. <laughs> Plus, my sewing was a little bit slower because I did injure my shoulder right after podcast mm -hmm. and like could lift it to like here well maybe not even there yeah. and I was screaming <laughs> so I was supposed to rest it and ice and all the stuff so I've been being a good girl and I'm still doing my um exercises and stuff for it so mm -hmm. they said three to six weeks before I can go back to normal activity or I will be re-injuring and I don't want to do that because, honest to gosh, the pain was worse than when I broke my arm. Strains and sprains <laughs> can be worse. What was the uh, bursa yeah. that I uh, injured? Which is actually better than some of the stuff you could injure on your shoulder. <laughs> Let's just be honest. All righty. Uh, do you have FOs? Well, I worked up to my bargain. None. Oh. <laughs> I <That's> even <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Well, I have six. Cool. So, which I'm shocked because for the longest I did not have any. Oh, a couple of them are not knitting. Oh, let me go ahead and start with one that I have picture because I did not want to bring it in here. I finished my glass Easter bunny for our table display, which I did not take a picture of the table display. That's Shit, okay. It's cute. But there she is. Look how cute <laughs> she came out. I was quite happy with how she came out. Um, the other one... <coughs> I had purchased, and I, I did not... You oh, go wash. I had not shown this, but I had purchased this at Goodwill. It was brand new. Still had, like, the cellophane and everything on it. And it's just, like, a little wood box. And then they gave you... Like Victorian looking stickers you could modge podge on. And I'm like, mm, I don't really want that. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I ended up 
painting the box. And then I had a napkin from Peanuts birthday party. Mm -hmm. The unicorn party. And I Mod Podged the napkin on the top of it. Oh, that's adorable. So that's how that came out. Isn't that cute, guys? She's going to love it. Mm -hmm. She can put her little treasures in there. And it's just kind of a open box has the, the felt on the bottom. Yeah. But I thought it came out really nice and that's her actual napkin from the um, birthday party. So cool. cute little remembrance. So I will I might just stick it in her Easter bag if there's room. <laughs> Those are their <laughs> Easter bags over there. I got grandma might have went a little out of control. Well the problem is, is I kind of buy stuff throughout and then mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah I have a lot. Plus she informed me that she was pretty sure. Well, she said, I hope the Easter Bunny is going to bring eggs to my house and hide so me and Lucas can find them. And Grandma, I think he's going to bring eggs to your house as well. Can you bring them to me? So then I had to go and get Easter eggs and stuff <laughs> and stuff to put in them because it was demanded, which she told Phil's mom too. But I don't know if she's going to bring them any Easter eggs. <laughs> so they get a big bag for me and Easter eggs because... I was told. <laughs> and you know, when Peanut talks, I jump to it. <clears throat> All right. You know what this means. Dishcloths. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so previously, I had one of those that I had shown that was done. I went ahead and I did two more. So I now have a set of three, and that pretty much used up, there's not enough for another one, mm -hmm. um, all the yarn that I had dyed, the cotton yarn. Oh, that did not make the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so I did those. Oh, I should take those out of there, so I actually put them in the gift bin. And then this will go back in the basket on the couch for when I want to do another dishcloth. Although I'm waiting because the first will be the next um, installment of the mm -hmm. 2024 dishcloths. All right. These I don't have in a bag because I keep switching bags around 24-7. They are fill socks that I knit out of Polka Dot Creek, Montreal, something. It's yeah. a sports team. <laughs> We'll just, we'll leave it at that. And I don't think she has it available right now. Because this was like a oopsie kind of thing. So I got it on sale. And then the contrast is just the Plymouth DK. That I have bought a bunch of colors. Ta-da! Another pair for Phil, guys. I'm going to town now that I know what needles I'm using. <laughs> discussion today <laughs> oh, oh yeah we'll have to share that so quite happy with those so those will go um, in the closet for another bag of socks for Christmas because I, I did take out one pair that I'm giving with um, his birthday gift but now I'm starting to stash away for Christmas uh, not that I think, like, he's going to wear through the ones that I gave him last year because he's really good about taking care of them and, and whatnot, but <clears throat> these, I believe, yeah, you guys have already seen the other pair that I did on these. Uh, and this is from the... Four Hour DK Sack by Lolo Did It, Lauren Slagle. Do I have ball bands? <clears throat> I have a ball band for the main color is Inked Wool, Vintage Valentine. And it does not appear, I don't think I had the ball band for the, I think this is one I dyed, I believe. Uh, and just fingering weight, and I held it double. And that's how those turn out. So these will now go into the gift basket as well. Doot, doot. 
And I think the other pair of them I had already pulled, and they're in with uh, Alicia's birthday present. Because Alicia and Phil will get theirs at the same time. Um, and actually before their birthday, because they will be in Disney on their birthday. So for their birthday, I get their dog. <laughs> Sam cannot babysit, so it is us. So I thought those came out really, really cute. Those down there. Is that everything? Did I go through everything that quick? Let me double check my notebook. Phil socks, dishcloth, DK sock, glass rabbit, unicorn box. That's it. That's all my FOs. <laughs> Look at me writing stuff down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was doing really good with that the last <clears throat> month or so. I've kind of fallen off the wagon. <laughs> So now I need to, I did not, uh, when I finished these, I did not cake up more yarn to do more. So I need to pick out yarn. And I'll probably actually just pick out something that I'll go with the gray. So which I can pretty continue. pretty much anything. Yeah, which is pretty much anything. <laughs> so I can just continue on with uh, using this up. Yeah. So, yeah. So that bag will get recycled and put in there again. Oh. All right. Do you have whips? I have got... That I have. Looks like I got seven. I got six. Oh, look at us go. Okay, mm -hmm. so I guess I'll start out first. I'll start with the smallest one first that I just started today. And it's also acquisitions. And you'll see another one later on. So we had went to Dollar Tree... We go there to get, oh, to get stuff to put in the Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and the Dollar Tree near us is kind of turning into it's not a Dollar Tree. It's more $3, $5, $7 stuff. And it seems like, and they're mixing it all together. So you don't, you never know what's a dollar? And what's... You have to pay attention to the shelf. Mm. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's mixed like within one shelf, but then they have like things underneath it. <laughs> So I went to <clears throat> the newer dollar store and you, you lose, use the term dollar store loosely because it's the dollar 25 store and they are still the dollar 25 store. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I had seen that people had gotten these like quite a long time ago and I couldn't find them at any of our Dollar Trees. Mm -hmm. Well, just happened to be in there and as I do, I go up and down every aisle I found crochet kits and they had a bunch of different ones. So I got the little dinosaur and it comes with everything um, you need, the yarn, the stuffing, the eyes, a really cheap plastic hook that bends when you um, crochet with it. <laughs> um, the directions, <sighs> are very, very small. So there are no, other than telling you like round one is six stitches, round two is 12, 18, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't tell you like where increases and decreases are. You have to read this itty bitty chart here. And is it ever itty bitty? So I've been using this that my <laughs> husband had found me at Goodwill a while back and I can actually see what it says. <laughs> <laughs> um, they kind of give you directions on the other side if you don't know how to do like a, a, a magic loop or a magic ring, whatever, a chain stitch and a, and a single crochet. I would still say this is not beginner friendly just for the fact that it is not very clear instructions. Yeah. <laughs> um, even as far as putting it together. I mean, you literally get these itty bitty pieces and then, you know, you're like, mm -hmm. uh, which end of it is up? So yeah. there's a little, a little bit of knowledge needed, I guess is what I'm saying. So let me show you what I do have done. This is the little dinosaur he got. He got his little eyes. This is his little body. And right before Brett got home when we started recording, this is going to be his little tail. I have to stuff it and sew it on there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just have to do his little uh, arms, legs, and then he gets some little yellow splotches. So I might uh, actually, 
get this done today. I crochet and knit my hair into everything. That means you did it with love. <laughs> I mean, it's ever. It's like, oh, look, there's a piece of Laura's yeah, hair. Yeah, you give, you give a piece of yourself for every I, project. I really do. <laughs> Don't we all? So, and they are very small, so that yeah. also makes them, if you were uh, a new crocheter, very, very, it would be fiddly yeah. for yeah. a new crocheter. Plus, I can guarantee you, if you were a new crocheter, and you were trying to crochet with this. Mm -hmm. Oh. You see that? Yeah. You'd probably never crochet again in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that out there. Yeah. So overall, for dollar twenty-five, it's a decent kit. Yeah. Now, in their defense, nowhere on here does it say it's beginner friendly. So there's that. But a lot of people might look at this and be like, "Oh, all the pe you yeah. know, it looks like a beginner kit because yeah. everything comes with it." And da da da. I would not agree with that yeah. statement at all. You do need a, at least some knowledge, I think. Mm -hmm. And they did have a ton of different ones, dogs and cats and unicorns. And, mm -hmm. like, there was a lot of different ones. I did control myself. I only bought two of them because I have so many kits, which I did start one of my kits from Timu, but I do not, like I literally just have pieces. Nothing are put is put together. So I didn't even bring it in today because mm -hmm. I kind of got sidetracked it. Um, with a new cast on. <laughs> Not even lie on it. I cast it on things. So, but this I actually had a little bit to show. And even though it's going to be re really small, I think it's going to be really cute. Mm -hmm. So I'll get this done. Um, I'll take a, a FO picture of it. And it will probably go in Lucas's uh, Easter bag. So, there's my first one. You're up. Okay, um, the first one I have is this Land of Sweets Cowl. Um, I made some progress on it, quite a bit of progress, and then I've made backwards progress on it, as, you know, I, did, I tend, have a tendency to do. <laughs> but from the last time... Oh, uh, there's where I was. So it's making its way. I think I have an extra stitch on here, so I'm trying to figure that one out. Well, you know what I'd tell you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just deal. <laughs> Wing it. Make it Karen fy it. Karen fy it. it. That disappear. doesn't seem as... <laughs> I know. Lorify it. Lorify it sounds so much better. Well, you can lorify it. Yeah. So. Just channel me. Mm hmm Okay. You can make it work. Mm hmm So I'm going to have to count up the stitches and, and figure out if that's the issue. Something's wrong in this section. I just don't know what. I don't want to keep ripping it back out. So there's that. Lorify. Yep. And of course, these are all the minis. I have no uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> leftovers from Laura. I just... <laughs> she shops at my house. Yeah. Laura, I need minis. Laura, I need needles. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because the, the needles on here are hers, too. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, I... You know I have tons mm -hmm. of needles, and I have multiples. And when and if I, I don't have a size of something, I have, what, three or four interchangeable sets that we can exactly. make a size. So, never a shortage of needles around here, that's for sure. All right, we'll go ahead and go here next, since I'm trying to not forget things. It is a pair of socks for Phil. And I did not say on the last pair, and I want to make sure I say it because I did get asked last time, that Phil's socks are knit using the Wide Rib DK Weight Socks by Erica Saint, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. you see, Phil's socks, because I had two of these patterns and I almost started knitting hemp socks off the pattern I used for myself, which would have been the wrong numbers. <laughs> um... Going to town now that I know what needles to use. I know I've used that pattern uh, and I love the socks. So the I yarn I am using is another Polka Dot Creek DK Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> and the contrast is just another one of the Plymouth DKs because I buy that in all the colors and then just match it up when I pull yarn. So I'm on the first one still. I just had uh, casted these on the other day. So I am past the heel and I am just knitting on the foot now. And yeah, these are a really nice, uh, with it being the ribbed, it always fits very nicely on people's feet. So, because I had made a few of these for myself too. So yeah, so that was in my uh, bag that I take everywhere with me because I was done with um, the regular socks. Should we tell the story now before we forget about the needles? Yeah. So <clears throat> we went to a yarn store today and I had already checked out and then it hit me. Oh, I wish I knew what size needles I used for. <laughs> it was for, a full on discussion. For socks because I probably pick up another <laughs> pair. And she's like, you don't know? And I'm like, no, I don't know. And then I'm like, I finished some. Oh, I started another pair. And then I'm like, wait a second. I have them with me. So I pull them out. And I go, oh, these are on, I, and I start looking to see, and then I went, oh, these are Addies. They, those are on the cord. On the cord, and you can never freaking read them. And then the lady being, you know, all helpful, which was not helpful. Oh, I forgot to say something to you. She does not know how to size a needle for nothing. <laughs> Brings out this needle sizer and is like, well, you can size the needle. I'm like, well, there's an issue with the, these uh, first off because they're not the proper size. Right. The millimeters are not what they should be. It's a whole thing I've gone through. <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, just stick it in there. She's like, look, it's a size blah, blah. And I'm like, um. She says it's size three. Like, literally, it was like this. In, in the, and I'm like. Mm. No, I think it's a little smaller than that. So, you know, me and Karen going back and forth. And she's like all trying to read like, it. I was she's, just taking my glasses off to, and to look at it. All of a sudden, I go. Oh, I have the package. <laughs> So this lady was going to sell me a size three. These are a US two, three millimeter. <laughs> so I did end up picking up um, another uh, set of these that will be marked for Phil Socks. <laughs> but she was, Karen was cracking up because I'm like, and he, she's still like trying. I'm like, Karen, Karen, <laughs> look, I have it with me. <laughs> well, and I kept it with it. For a reason. Yeah. Every time I move bags, because this was in a different bag, and then since I had finished the project that was in um, this bag here, um, I take this bag everywhere with me because this thing is huge. Mm -hmm. I went the other day for my nail appointment, and I had uh, my knitting project in this. I had my wallet in here. I had a bottle of water. And I had three, the three paperback books that I had read mm -hmm. were also in here because I was <laughs> passing them on to her. And I still had room. I'm like, this bag is freaking huge. Like, it doesn't <laughs> look like it would be that bad, that big. But then with having this that pulls up, mm -hmm. it really makes a difference, which I do still have two of these left in the shop if you're interested. Yeah. Um, so I take this bag everywhere with me. Yeah. I love it. So as soon as the project is done, I have to switch another project into here mm -hmm. since this is the one I tend to. Oh, and I had I had my um, my box of meds in here, and yeah, I, it's insane how much I can fit in here. So yeah, but she was laughing at me. <laughs> I was laughing at myself. <laughs> the lady probably thought we were nuts. Yeah, she's like, really? She she was still. Um, confused i think about the whole dk weight sock like it yeah that to dawn on her. and they thought that i was knitting just the heels toes and cuffs in dk yeah uh, to make them last longer and using fingering for the rest of the sock and i'm like mm -hmm. no and then she's like oh well you got a lot because i bought uh, more dk plymouth for uh toes heels and cuffs mm -hmm. and they're like, oh my gosh, this is so many, so many. This is going to take you forever. And I'm like, no, no, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Maybe a couple months. <clears throat> if even. It depends on what mm -hmm. other projects I have going on. So. Yeah. 
Oops. Yeah. When she told them she made 30 socks for Phil. For Christmas, they're like... <laughs> They're quick. Well, if they watch and they see how big <laughs> they are, too. Oh, big, too, yeah. Well, and that wasn't even all, because yeah. I did my mama bag of socks. I did mm -hmm. Alicia bag of socks. So, yeah. I, I did a gazillion socks last year. Yeah. That's my, my, my knitting for traveling, so. Yeah. You're up. Okay. I am doing... By Curious Handmaid. Uh, handmade the Mount Juliet shawl. I started that. The yarn I'm using, I have no idea. Ow. It was yarn that I had already caked up, and I know I've tried it in a couple of different projects before. But this is the yarn. I think the purple I got at Midwest, and the top one I got, I know I got it uh, yarn oh, at Yarn Con Oh, Midwest. I miss that. Yeah, I know. That was my favorite. So, this is how far I've gotten. Despite having struggle starting it. Oh, did she have struggle, folks? Hey, you know, if you don't try something two or but, three times, you don't get it. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. Had this you said right something side, to me from the get-go, you wouldn't have had to do rip it out. Or, I don't know, had you read the instructions. Because <laughs> she like, told me what the problem was, and I'm like, well, are you doing the blah, blah, blah like this? And she looked at me, and she went, no. <laughs> I'm like, well... That's how it tells you to do it yep. in the instructions. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and show mine then because I have one as well. Um, my colors are... Ooh. Clouded by Cherry Pie Cottage, who no longer dies. And... Knit one, crochet two... Color 289. That's exciting. I have done a lot of work, guys. Look at that. And I'm only a little over 35% done. So this is going to be a really big shawl. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a fun knit. <clears throat> it really is. So it... Uh, I have to keep putting it away because I would just keep working on it. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you, you need to have some progress on some other things. So, yeah, now I can work on it again. Next, I have another new start. You guys saw this last time we podcast as a new acquisition. This is just called Snowman Ornament by Dimensions. There it is there. Of course, it supplies everything. And I've really gone to town on this. <coughs> you can actually tell it's a snowman. <laughs> I've just been, you can tell I've been color finishing. I've been using my new um, magnetic wood set. I I, I like it. Um, but? The only thing I don't like is actually from the pattern because this is the first time I've really worked on uh, using, it's plastic canvas. It's not perforated paper. Hmm. And getting that needle through, even though it's the needle they supplied, um, there's a few times when I felt like I'm bending my needle mm. um and it's just the, the the holes are really tight but uh other than that I really really like it thank you mm -hmm. it's already got belly buttons <laughs> <laughs> buttons on the well, outfit so there's that mm. okay next up I don't remember the name of this, so let me look. It is the Always Be Brave shawl. And the colorways are both from Arkansas Yarn Co. This one is one of her Sock Yarn Societies from last year called Let's Give Them Something to Talk About. 
And this one I always want to call by the wrong name. I call it by the other blue name. This is Dating a Royal. That is just so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So where that progress keeper is there, yep. all the way up, is what I have done. I'm getting fairly close to, not really. Who am I kidding? <laughs> It'll be fun when I switch the color, when the colors go reversed, mm -hmm. just for like something different. But I, I do actually really enjoy this. I wish you guys could see the sparkle better. <sighs> It's always hard to, maybe it'll show. Here you can see the Selena there. Because it is really, she has got yeah. the best sparkle. Speaking of sparkles, did you see my Easter mm -hmm. nails? Aren't they pretty guys? All different colors. Which did not throw Little Man for a loop at all when I said, okay, Grandma got new nails. What color? What color? And he just rattled them right off. <laughs> I, I thought at first he was going to be like, um, because he's just, just, just saying, you know, like mm -hmm. one color or, mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. But nope, no problem there. Cool. Um, this is also a really, really fun knit that I have really been enjoying doing. Mm -hmm. I really like this as well. So yeah. both, I did, both the shawl patterns are wonderful. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Um, you guys have seen this before. The Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Bird Designs. Make sure I get my birds right this time. <laughs> and I have made whoop, quite a big bit of progress on the roof. See how I've filled that in. I have one more color. I actually already started on it. And then the roof will be done. There. I know I'm using a 36 count R and R on this. I can't remember what the let's see the is this it? Oh yeah. Or no, it's needle and flax. It's called the Fabric is 36 count needle and flax dirty teacup. I really like this color. Very nice neutral. Oh, I think my next bag is stuck. Mm. Okay, so this doesn't have a whole lot of progress on it because I kind of stalled as I do when I get to the sleeves of things because, well, and one of the other reasons is, is I'm debating. I'm not sure which way to go. So I tried it on for the length and it'll be fine. But to me, the sleeves are not very big and I'm thinking I don't want to do decreases. At least not for like here. Mm -hmm. So I was like, do I or don't I? Because they seem small, but then I'm like, it's also super wash yarn, so I could like really block aggressively. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, maybe I should just not do decreases for a certain amount and then mm -hmm. try it on, which I think is what I've decided to do. Plus, I was trying to decide how I wanted to knit the sleeves because with them being faded, I'd have to either take really good notes or knit them two at a time. So I think I've decided to knit them two at a time, but now I need to divide my yarn. So that'll be my next stall. <laughs> <laughs> but I did finish the ribbing that I was working on. Okay. So she be done. Yeah. That's all the colors. I love, it. I love all the colors you picked you know, years ago, mm -hmm. but, and you can kind of see when you look at the sleeves, those are not that big. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not, that's why I'm thinking I might not have to even do any decreases until like I almost get to mm -hmm. like the wrist area. Um, so I'm probably going to have to like every, I don't know, two or three inches, try it on and see. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But it's coming along, it's just, yeah, it's stalled because 
I was debating what exactly I wanted to do, <laughs> which I've, like I said, I've figured out now, but since I'm going to do two at a time, I need to divide my yarn in half. A couple of them I might, like, this is getting, like, really low, so I might just have to skein up another skein, because I have a, uh, another skein of every one of them. <clears throat> And I decided to do two at a time because not only are you fading the sleeves, but you have to fade the cuffs as well. Mm. They have you do a, a fade on the cuffs. Mm, I didn't realize that. So, yeah, that would be a whole lot of note taking. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, if I do the first one, then I'm just going to end up sitting and not doing the second one for a while. Yeah. It'll be fine. Once I actually get it divided up and I pick it up, the sleeves are going to knit fast. Mm -hmm. Um... And I'll get them done, no problem. It's just a matter of jumping. You can always go ahead and do the collar while I you're could. debating. I could. But I've decided what I'm doing. Okay. And I even have the needles in here. So, like, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't use that as an excuse. That was an excuse for no, me. No, you cannot. Because my needles were up high and I, I, I couldn't um, reach my arm up at all. Which, I mean, I could have used my left arm, but whatever. It's, it's guys, it's just all a bunch of excuses. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Sounds like it to me. And I admit it. I mean, why rush into these things? This yarn has been sitting since I first got back to knitting. Like, back when me and Alicia were podcasting was when I purchased this yarn. So you just want to enjoy it. Right. I mean, there's no sense rushing into these things. <laughs> It'll get dark. Okay, my next one is by Plum Street Samplers. We gather in. And I've made quite a bit of progress on this one. Guys, did you see? Mm -hmm. I, have, I have on a new Easter shirt I got from Timu. Actually, I got three new ones from there. No, four ones. <sighs> I must be an inside pocket. Oh, there it is. Nope. This is being done on 32 count Lugana um, taupe. And I'm doing pretty much the call for DMC except for the grass. I did, did decide to use um, Weeks Oscar because I wanted the variegation. I finished the fence for that page and actually went into the next page with the fence. It's pretty easy to follow. And this whole section of, of grass over here has all been completed. So I'm just working over on all of the grass to finish that page and I'll be able to move everything over. So making quite a bit of progress on that. Love it. Okay. My next one is a new cast on. <clears throat> so, me and my infinite wisdom, because you know I know I have enough stuff on the needles, decided to do the 24 Birds MCAL by Curious Handmade. And the first clue came out March 21st. So basically every week there's going to be one clue for six weeks. It is four skeins of yarn. So it's going to be a big one. I mean, you don't use... So color A, you use 65 grams. Color B, 70 grams. Color C, 95 grams. And color D, 100 grams. Still going to be quite large. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to do... This is the one I talked about with the light, lightly speckled, a pop of color, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let me show you what I ended up on. So, this is my color A. And it is Lolo Did It. I think it's one of the hippo color ways. Nope, I smell snow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she can't control herself with her yarn. <laughs> Color B, I believe, is also Lolo did it. Oi with the poodles, maybe? 
Yes, away with the boodles. So we kind of got the whole Gilmore Girls theme going on. So this is color B, ASB. Gray. Yeah. Color C is also a little did it. <laughs> is it a Gilmore Girls? Yes, I love you, you idiot. <laughs> so let me add that one on. Okay, and then for my pop-up color, my tonal, um, this one did not have a tag. Some of my yarn has lost their tags in the cubbies. Yeah. So, can you grab that? This is my three colors. Okay. Love it. So, she did let us know, which, I mean, she might as well have let us know because it was very evident. It is a circular shawl. Interesting. Now, you'd enjoy this because this is a uh, <clears throat> curious handmade made again. Oh, with the so she's got the checklist. Yep. Now, I didn't know how well I was going to like this. But I'll tell you what, I had clue one done in one day. Let me get it a little stretched out on my needles. Come on. Because it's circular, it's a little harder to, to show. Let me. So, color one is the center, and then you faded a little bit and went into color two. And you'll see the lace work a lot better once nice. it's not, not in, uh, on the needles in a circle. <laughs> Very nice. But isn't that cool? Uh-huh. I'm digging it. I don't know how wearable it'll be, but I did hear people say that the circular shawls like this mm -hmm. do tend to be quite a bit of yardage. Yeah. And they end up using them as a throw on the couch. Because they oh, end up I'm being sure. quite large. I'm sure. So that's always a possibility. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm sure Alicia would love it. You could always fold it in half so it's a crescent. Yeah, like I'm going to wear warmer. it. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know. But you see all the different lace work going on there. Mm -hmm. And in there. Love it. So, yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting. So I did, uh, I did my clue one day, guys. And now I'm like, okay, now I have to wait till next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Done this just stink. <laughs> So, yeah. So, it's been fun. And at first, I was, um, they said you could do uh, DPNs or uh, Magic Loop. Mm -hmm. So, I did, was using, um, just doing Magic Loop. And then it got to the point where I didn't have to Magic Loop anymore. I could just knit in, a, in the round. Yeah. So, that's been nice because I'm up to 288 stitches right now. Already, yeah. And we are one, two, three, four, four rows past 10%. Done. Mm. So this is only 10%. It's going to be a big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a big one, guys. So, but it's been fun. So I forgot to tell, say spoiler if you were knitting this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just ruined it for you. Oops. <laughs> um, even though it has started, you can uh, still purchase the MCAL in uh, on Ravelry if you want to start now, once you've seen it. Now, I was in her Ravelry group and I was reading, because uh, there's a, like a chatter thread or whatever, after um, she posted the first clue, and there was a lot of people that were very negative about the circular shape and was like, oh, I wish I would have known this. I was so disappointed. Well, that's, I'm sorry. When you're doing a knit, a mystery knit along, it can be any shape. Mm -hmm. So if you have a preference to only like a couple shapes or one shape, don't sign up. Yeah. Wait until, you know, the knit along is done. And then if you like it, purchase it you, and, and don't participate in the knit along. Um, it's not her fault. Yeah. It was a mystery. You know, I wasn't sure if I would like the circle. I'm enjoying knitting it. Do I think it's going to be practical? I don't, I don't know. 
I don't care. I'm enjoying the knit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what you get with a mystery knit along. I, and you guys know, typically, I don't do a lot of mystery knit alongs. Yeah. Um, it was just because it was her, and I do enjoy her patterns. Mm-hmm. So I was willing to, yeah. And there's always somebody to gift it to. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, that's not a big deal. So I wasn't worried about it if it was a shape or something that I didn't like, mm-hmm. you know. But, yeah, I was a little, like, seriously, people? <laughs> I think you did good with your selections, too, because you're worried about how much speckling they had. Yeah, I so think far, it ended it really... out. Well, and if you noticed, I tied them together. So in the gray, there are little specks of this green. Mm-hmm. And then there is specks of the green Little bits of it. In the pink, yeah. In the pink were the blue transitions. And then there's very little, but there's minute blues. And that's why I picked that as... And this is going to be um, the pop of color at the end, from what I understand, which will be like all lace. So it'll be like the lace around mm. the circle cool. is what I understood. Yeah. So I think they actually tied together pretty good. Mm-hmm. It was just very hard for me to do because... I don't do, like, different colors like this. So, my instinct was to do, like, four different shades of blue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, I'm kind of like that, too. I mean, even with the foul, like, grays and blues, I know they went, you know. So, I had to keep looking at the pictures that she posted. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, those are so pretty. And I'm like, they're nowhere in the same family. Yeah. Um, the tone was the same, mm-hmm. but like one was blue, one was brown, one was orange. Yep. Like they did not tie together at all. Mm-hmm. Um, these kind of tied together a little bit, which yeah. I think made me feel a little better and helped me decide which order to put them in. Yeah. So that's what I did. It was stressful. I can't tell you how many different combinations I had. I don't want to tell you how, many, how much yarn I had out of my cubbies. <laughs> but, hey, that's four more yarn skeins of yarn I'll have used out of my stash. Yep. Look at me go. So, that was a, a fun cast on. I'm, I, the only sad part is it's just like the dishcloths. Now I'm sitting and waiting. <laughs> dishcloths, I have to wait a, a month. This, I have to wait a week. I guess I need to go slower. on. She did say the first clue was smaller mm-hmm. because of the cast on. was a little... Yeah. Um, so it might take people several times to yes, be able to get Yes, because the cast on was a little fiddly. Well, let me just fill you in on something, okay? this is The cast on is the same as that muscle burl hat. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to cast it on that way. Yeah. You can do a long tail cast on, join it in the round, Mm -hmm. and then with your end, just cinch up that little hole. Yep. That's what I did. And I could have done that because basically it's a magic ring. Yeah. Um, But I was like, oh, that's going to be fiddly with it being Mm -hmm. such small, you know, just a small amount of stitches. So I didn't even fiddle with it. I was just like, and she says in directions you can do it, you know. So I just opted to do it that way, Mm -hmm. and I'm fine with it. And I know a lot of people that do knit the muscle burl hat, Mm -hmm. that's what they do as well. Yeah. So don't let that, like, discourage you or whatever. But she made the clue smaller because of the cast on. Mm -hmm. Um, The next clue will be larger, which will make me much happier. Yeah. So, because it doesn't take me that long to, to knit a clue. So there was that. You got more or you're done? I have one more okay. small show of, I went back to my uh, prairie schooler, <laughs> and the one I am doing, you're not going to be able to tell it all, oh. <laughs> is, this is out of number 151, this little Santa up here, I just had the white done, so I completely finished the border. That's it. And I am using just some, I actually have extra in here. Mm. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, 18 count. Isn't it sad? I can just tell because of how that's printed. Mm-hmm. How they oh, have the price on there. Their brand. Oh, I didn't know the brand. 
I just know how it's marked. It's called natural. <clears throat> so. so I'm doing that. Okay, I have one more. Oh, gosh. Which isn't much to show yet. And I don't know when it will be much to show because it is not a priority. It will be... And right now it's like in the trial phase. So... It's not necessarily like the yarn I would use, mm -hmm. um, but it's the yarn I'm u I was using just to try it out. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I was wondering. I seen that on you. <laughs> so I started weaving. Interesting. And I just got a little bit done so far. That is like a, oops, a sparkle yarn. And I'm still attached. I did take off. There's a, I left it on the table over there. There's a piece that slides, a wood piece that slides under here and holds this out. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can get this to go in and out. Mm -hmm. um, I have had issues with that piece um, because it doesn't connect because you have to be able to just kind of move back and forth. Well, part of the problem is, is when you put this through, um, there's slots kind of like, they're kind of like this that are in that piece where the yarn's supposed to go through. Well, when you weave this through, they want to pop off. Mm. So you almost have to get it in the right position and hold it down and then weave that through. Otherwise, you're nonstop having to put the yarn back in the slots. So I'm still kind of playing with it. Uh, we'll see if it actually goes anywhere or not. I don't know. Um, but the loom was extremely cheap, so I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see." <laughs> and I got it. I just did this a little bit. Like I, well, first off, I had to put the thing together, and there was no instructions. <laughs> so that was fun um so basically yesterday <clears throat> i put it together i uh ran the yarn and then wrapped yarn on on, on shuttle not, not, is that what it's called it's a doohinky yeah um <laughs> i'm not i'm not a, i'm not a technical person um so i did that on there <clears throat> And then I spent, like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes doing that little bit there. So. Interesting. You never know what I'm up to in here. No, I never do. <laughs> I fall down rabbit holes all the time. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Sometimes I share them with you guys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't. Um, it, it, it just depends, which I debated about even showing this because they're really is not that much there mm -hmm. but i was like you know what why not yeah <laughs> let you guys know what i've been up to yeah i mean just putting this thing together was uh since i had no instructions was a whim for me i bet because <laughs> well especially like before i actually had figured out like what i was doing so this has a groove here mm -hmm. this doesn't have a groove here i'm like okay which which way does that piece go you can figure out how to get your groove on? No, I couldn't figure out how to get my groove on. <laughs> how do I get my groove on? So, yeah, it was it was interesting, but I did get it together. But, yay, thanks for not sending me directions. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. <clears throat> That's finally all my whips. And, of course, I couldn't go for the little one. I had to get the big no, one. No. If you're going to do it, just do it. Yeah. Go big or grow home. Right? All righty. Do you have any acquisitions? Yeah. Just from the yarn shop that we went to. I decided, well, I've been needing... She decided nice. she was going to stop <laughs> shopping for needles at my house, and she was going to purchase. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the biggest one was size six seems to be almost every shawl you make. That's like a, in fingering a weight. So I got size sixes. Uh, I got a size zero to do a magic loop for um, 
socks. And then I got two pairs of uh, 16 inch, a size four and size five for hats. So, yeah. So next week she's going to need something that's not that size. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. She knows where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> I told her she needed yes. to set up a, a little like library register checkout. I'm going to make you all sign them out so I know who <laughs> so has so what. She knows. All of a sudden she's going to be like, you know, this says I had this many. And like, where are all? Oh, well, and that's the thing. I know because like if I go pull out, um, my system does tell me like how many I have of that size, what length they are, what brand they are. So like when they're not in there, I'm like, okay, who borrowed those? <laughs> because the cowl is not only her leftover yarn, but her needles. My needles too. And all, although the shawl I did not have to borrow on. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but I do know that I have two more projects at home. Um, a sweater that I forever haven't finished, my weekender. I know I have a size eight. And I'm pretty sure because I had my size eights all tied up to do that, when I make washcloths, there are her needles yes. too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. <laughs> she yeah. knows where I'm at that, yeah. when I show up. Yeah, well, you know. All right, so oh, I'll show the other kid I got at the Dollar Tree, of course. Oh, <laughs> I had to get the little unicorn. Why would I not? And then I have some Goodwill. I know you guys love my Goodwill section. So the first one is actually not yarn, but I just wanted to show you. So I found it was brand new, still had tags on it, a little jewelry box. Well, I ended up adding a little yarn sticker to the top of it. And then where the ring thing was, where you can put the rings in, I just tore that out. And look. Awesome. I got little progress keepers in there. There's a needle up here. There's scissors. I also got a package of these little small uh, pencils from Goodwill mm -hmm. that were brand new. And I just kind of laid that in there. So I got myself another little case. You know, yeah, I got my needle stoppers in there. Look at my little Dr. Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> So I got another case that's like, I've got basically packed up. So if I go to grab a project when I'm leaving the house and I don't have like stuff already in the bag, I can just grab this and throw it in there. Mm -hmm. So cute little idea. And I, I have like yarn and um, I have knitting and crochet stickers, a bunch of them. So I just pulled those out and picked one and put it on there. There you go. So that was smart thinking. Mm -hmm. Um... I forgot I had even gotten this. This is Learn to Crochet 24 Pattern Stitches While You Create Quick and Easy Dishcloths. I don't really need to learn the stitches, but there's dishcloth patterns. Cool. So, why would I not? And I paid 50 cents for it. Nothing's in colored. Oh, wait, there's colored pictures. So there's just like a sampling of them. a whole lot to show yeah okay I completely forgot I got that and so this was my last trip to Goodwill I got some Bernat Handicrafter cotton series and this is the breast cancer awareness one called pinky stripes and I got two of those they were 99 cents a piece and they're not bad like it's, oh it's no! Not. I don't think I've ever seen this. This before. is uh, this is actually a nice feeling mm -hmm. cotton, and this is stripes. These I will probably actually just make the um, grandma's dishcloth with. Yeah, 172 yards. That's not too bad. No. And yeah, it's not like that crisp, like the sugars and cream mm -hmm. or the. So I got those. So the last couple times I've gone to Goodwill, I've had to like go back and get a cart. <laughs> It's been awful. <laughs> of course, it doesn't help that, like, my shoulder was messed up. I couldn't carry a lot, but it was insane. So, on that same trip, mm -hmm. there was some sugars and creams and stuff that I had in my cart, and then I ended up putting back, because I'm like, you don't like working with that. Why are you going to buy it? Yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. Just, I don't care if it's 99 cents. Leave it. <laughs> but I did get these. <laughs> Bernat Handicraft Cotton. This one is Peace and Love, and it is 400 grams. Holy cow. <laughs> Ah, look at that. What are you going to do? Make like a, a, oh. 
crosswalk vest out of it and so, nobody, so everybody can see you while you're walking? This was a dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine. I could just see you with that uh, an orange vest walking no, no, down no. there. These will be dishcloths. It's it's cotton again, and it's that same nice feel. Oh, okay, yeah, that's nice. again, it's not bad. And then I also got sure. the same one. I've never seen. And yes, have you guys? This is also 400 grams. Uh, does this one have a Keller away? Keller Hugh 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 Hugh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Does that, did that one have a other than peace and love? Uh, Orange Chill, that one's called. So, and this one's also um, 400 grams, and wow. I also paid $1.99 for that. They do sell these 400 grammers, um, this brand, on Amazon. Okay, because um, I'm like, I've never seen them in even like a Hobby Lobby, you get, or Joanne's, and none of them. I want to say the price is for two of them. You get two of these, mm -hmm. and it's, I believe it was like $22. Wow. But, I mean, that's 800 grams for 22 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you guys are interested in something something Still, like that, yeah. I mean, granted, I only paid $2 a piece, mm -hmm. um, but I did look them up um, when we were in Goodwill. Yeah. To, Just to get an idea. Of an them. idea, which I knew I was getting a deal for yeah. 2 bucks. I mean, so, I mean, this is a ton of dishcloths. Yeah, there's sometimes, though, you go in there <laughs> and their cotton yarn is the same price as it is yes. in the stores, I've noticed lately. Yes. Uh, it depends on who's marking it. Yeah. Um, I'm I have, that's not right I've picked up sugars and cream before that was like three ninety nine, and I'm like, seriously? Yeah. No, 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 no. Not at a Goodwill. Mm -hmm. You can stay here. Yeah. Um, which I'm now to, to the point of any of the sugars and cream or whatever can stay there. Um, but I had felt this and I was just like, this is nice. Yeah. This is actually not going to hurt your hands to mm -hmm. knit. Um, it is soft. I liked that it was in solid colors because, like, all those dishcloths I'm doing mm -hmm. uh, for the dishcloth along mm -hmm. um, have all that patterning. Looks like somebody started something. Yeah, somebody started something <laughs> and it was like, yep, yeah, nope. Um, the patterning of stuff shows up so much better on solid colors. Oh, yeah. So, that was fun. Um... Okay, the next bunch of yarn was a whole nother day. Oi, oi, oi. All right. So this was from Mary Maxim. It's their Ultra Mellow Spun DK. They are 50 gram balls. Okay, melon. I was gonna guess melon. That's the that's yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven melon, one yellow, and one green. And these were all. 99 cents a piece and yet again for this being acrylic very soft very soft i figured nothing else something for a baby even mm -hmm. with it being like a decay i mean it was 99 cents like if it had been if, if it wasn't the soft i would have been like mm, no but it's really nice mm -hmm. and then you don't have to worry about them washing it that's it uh, acrylic and nylon, I believe. Yeah, 70% acrylic, 30% you, nylon. You wouldn't think that, would you? Mm-mm. It's nice. That can't, that was a Mary Maxim. So, again, I know, I didn't look that up, but I don't know. That's definitely more than 99 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I found some yarn. Yeah, she did. She warned me before. I was like, I found some stuff at Goodwill. I, yep. been, I have been hitting it so hard lately at Goodwill. So, then, that's all the yarn. But I figure I'd go ahead and share a little bit more with you. So, <clears throat> I have um, I have stuff to be able to make um, resin stitch markers. I have not done so yet. But, like, I have all the, the molds and 
the materials and I got glitters and all the fun stuff. Well, I found even more fun stuff uh, at Goodwill last time I was there for that I can add. So they're basically dried flowers. So these, is, let's see, this one is Plum Blossoms. So you can like put that in the resin and it'll show on your stitch marker. Cool. Uh, this one is Wildflower Mix. And these were all brand new here. Um, this one's just a Wildflower Mix as well. Another Wildflower Mix. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, and you know I like this one. Because yep. it's blue. Look how pretty. And I have some other molds for stuff other than um, stitch markers and stuff. Like I have some like bowls and stuff mm -hmm. and different like trinket trays that I could use those in. And then I even got these. Just look how pretty those are. Wow. Nifty jifty. And they're in a little snap container, so I got all those little flowers. Can I get those too? Mm-hmm. I got all those, those are pretty. Bows. Aren't they pretty? Sometimes you can see better from the back too. So I've had that. I have a huge bag of resin stuff sitting right here. And it's been on my list for I don't know how long to do. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah. When I get there, I'm going to be overwhelmed because I purchased so much. <laughs> I'm going to be like, no, what do I want to do? Um, because that's how I am. I don't just... Mm -hmm. I'm not a normal person. I'm starting something new. You're just not figuring that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you start I've known that for a while. Because <laughs> we're both different. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people, when they're going to try something new, mm -hmm. they get, like, the bare minimum until know. they actually try it and see if they like it. That's not a true crafter. Mm -mm. Me? No. Out. I need all the things. Yeah. You go all out. That's but, the whole point. You know what? I don't care. If I try something and I'm like, yeah, this just isn't for me, I'll donate all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And be like, well, somebody else is going to benefit. You know, well, and mean, sometimes you get it through. A lot, yeah, some of the stuff I will get yeah. um, through. I mean, a lot of the stuff I have actually purchased. Um, not at crazy prices, though. Like a lot, a couple of the molds and stuff, like I got through Timu. I got um, some marked down when our Joann's closed, mm -hmm. you know, when they were a high percentage off. You know, so it's not like I have a ton of money tied up in it. Yeah. Um, but if I try it, like, I want to have different things I can try. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to do, like, one item. You know what I mean? Right. To get the true feeling of if I like doing it or not. And if I don't like doing it, well, then it'll get packed up and it'll go to Goodwill. <laughs> yep. Not a big deal. We tried it, hey. Yep. So we tried it. I didn't like it. I've had a few things that I've done that with that I purchased and... I tried it, and I was like, it's fine, but it's nothing that I want to do again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I purchased it thinking it was something I wanted to do, and then once I, like, Ooh. read the instructions, or and I was like, you know, it's not <laughs> worth it to me. That's too much work. Yeah. You know, that, that that's way too much time. Um, so, yeah. So I was excited to get all those. And like these are in like really nice little cases. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, somebody, somebody got out of the uh, the resin stuff. That's okay. Um, so basically all of, I didn't, I didn't tell you what was going on here. So basically, because I took them all out of the bag, these were all in a bag. And I paid $2.99 for the whole bag. Oh, wow, cool. So, I mean, a fraction of... What they would have, yeah, what the know. original price was. Yeah, I, I, you probably couldn't have even got one of these for two ninety nine. Right. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Um. So that's why I said it's not that. Mm -hmm. I have a whole lot into it. Yeah. So well, I'm these. <laughs> <laughs> we won't discuss the whole bag of stuff. Down there. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, 
It's fine. Mm -hmm. I never go into it going, oh, I'm going to love this. It's okay to invest money. I go, well, I want to have the stuff to really give it a good go. Yeah. That's kind of, I guess, where I come from. Mm -hmm. You know, we never do anything half you know what. Well, part of the hobby with doing knitting, crocheting, cross stitch, scrapbooking, scrapbooking is the hobby of collecting. Oh, I'm a good collector. (laughs) But I'm also a great get rid of. An organizer. I mean, she... (laughs) Yep. Yes, I am quite organized. But part Mm -hmm. of that, too, is getting rid of. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I you know how often I go through stuff and go, okay, let's be realistic. Now, you've had this for X amount of time. Yep. Are you still really feeling like you're going to try this craft or mm-hmm. are you, you, you over that? Yeah. Because sometimes I get <coughs> obsessed about something mm-hmm. and I can't let it go until I have it. Mm-hmm. And then after that, then the obsession goes away and I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how I am. Um, like all my felting stuff, I gave that away. I'm like... I did it. It's it's fine. Is it something I'm going to sit and do? Yeah. No. I'm over it. It was good. I, I did a few items and I just gave it away. Mm-hmm. I knew somebody that uh, wanted to try felting. I'm like, here, <laughs> take it all. <laughs> <laughs> I packed it up when I cleaned my closet the one day and mm-hmm. I was like, here you go. She's like, well, I have this and that. No, take it all. <laughs> telling you right now just take it all yeah um so that's i mean that's just how i am Mm -hmm. so that's fine i mean i haven't given away my scrapbooking stuff because that will always come in handy for all sorts of stuff but yeah certain things like that like felting or basket making i gave basket making stuff away yeah the kits because i was like okay yeah it seemed like a good idea at the time and I made a couple, and now I'm good. (laughs) I didn't need the other five kids. (laughs) I mean, it happens. Yep. Um, So that's all of my acquisitions. I was going to share a couple pictures, because Alicia sent me pictures of the babies yesterday. Um, I'm going to do them kind of backwards. (laughs) Look at my peanut. (laughs) Guys, look how cute she is. She really is adorable. And then... Here they are on their Easter egg hunt. Awesome. He has grown. Mm. So, at least... He's about as tall as she is. No, she, he's, he's a lot shorter than her. But here's the funny thing. He, she had to take him to the doctor's the other day. Uh-huh. So, Peanut, when she was there, I don't know, a few months back, and I might have said this she in a year hadn't gained any weight Mm. she grew in height but Mm -hmm. she stayed the same weight she's Mm -hmm. 38 pounds at this latest doctor's appointment Mm -hmm. he's 41 (laughs) (laughs) i was like oh he's solid like he he doesn't look big yeah because he's grown enough in in height Mm -hmm. but if you go to pick this kid up Mm -hmm. you have to be careful because he is solid. I can pick her up much easier than him. I have been for quite a while. And then... There they are with the Easter Bunny. Oh! There they are with the Easter Bunny. So, yeah. All right, in other news, I saved this for the very end. I know you did. <laughs> Guys, I always do this. Save the sad stuff for the very, very end. If you follow us on Instagram or uh, me on Facebook, you will have already known. So I don't know that I've really shown pictures of her, which I can right now. So (laughs) this was when we first got her. (laughs) This is Mandy. You guys have heard me talk about our rabbit before. She's she was 11 years old which is quite old for a rabbit she would have been yeah i love that she would have been 12 in september she was our last pet and we lost her on wednesday she had nine lives she did (laughs) 
she, from the beginning, has always been kind of um, a sickly bunny. Like, she had to be on a special diet. We couldn't feed her rabbit food. Um, she didn't respond well to that. She had to have fresh salads twice a day and carrots and green peppers and strawberries. She ate better than we did. Um, and just throughout her life, she's, yeah, nine lives. Karen has witnessed it through being here. Yeah. I want to um, say it was, what, a couple of months ago you had messaged me and you thought it was... Mm -hmm. Well, there's, a, there's was, uh, probably of times. been at least five, six times where we're like, yeah. she's at her end, she's yeah. not going to make it, you know, she's just kind of laying there, she's mm -hmm. lethargic, she's not eating, and then next thing you know, it'd be like three o'clock in the morning and the rabbit was running laps. So when she went down the other night, we didn't really think a whole lot about it because... She's we've done it before. <laughs> we've been through it so many times. We're mm -hmm. like, oh, she'll be fine in the morning. Yeah. And she was not fine. Um, thankfully, we were both here. So we were both able to say goodbye. And because lots of times he ends up being at work, which makes it even harder. And this is, even though I'm the one that initially purchased her, <laughs> this was his little buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, he. Oh, yeah. He really, Karen will tell you. Like last Sunday, he, as I was leaving, he was feeding her carrots. Yes. <laughs> and boy, she just like popped up on the knees, just rubbing her little head yep. and mm. had well, a full on conversation with her well, and as, gave her carrots. As and, soon as she, she would hear his voice, mm -hmm. she was like, she, yeah. And you've seen like when he's not been at home, mm -hmm. she gets up on her ledge and would be like looking into the bedroom looking for him. And I, and I'm like, Mandy, he's not at home. So they were very attached to each other. So then she would face the 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 <laughs> bedroom, and she'd let her know what she thought about it because she would poop she, outside of the cage. And then she, yeah, she poop and then she fling it. I don't know how many times tonight I'm like, Mandy, quit pooping on the floor. <laughs> when um, you're talking on the way home. I said, remember the one time we decided to eat carrots? <laughs> she had a fit. She was. Yeah. She, she glared at us lie. the whole time. Uh, this little rabbit, and Karen will tell you, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, oh, it's a rabbit. No, this mm -hmm. rabbit had personality. Oh, yeah. She really did. She was a sassy little thing. Yep. Um, she Been ran, there when she threw temper tantrums. She will tell us what time it is. Mm -hmm. She would tell us it was 7 o'clock, give me my food. She would start yep. throwing her plate. She yep. knows when it was 11 o'clock. really she loud. her carrots. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was times, like, if you didn't get up to give her her carrots at 11, like, my TV volume would be up on 32. Because, like, you had to keep upping it because she's in there throwing plates. And, mm -hmm. you know, she would run around the cage so quickly that the cage would move It would across. move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. she was something. So, it's been a week of kind of getting adjusted. Um... He was at work the other day, and I texted him. I'm like, I did not realize how much I talk to Mandy and check on her when you're at work. Because, you know, it, it's just part of your routine. So mm -hmm. I guess I carried on full-fledged conversations with this rabbit because mm -hmm. something happened the other day, and I go walking in to tell her about it. <laughs> And, you know, like, if yeah. we go out somewhere, the first thing, you know, we'd come home and we, and he always was like, hey, buddy, buddy, you know, mm -hmm. and we'd always go and check on her. So, it, it's, it's very empty. It's very quiet. Mm -hmm. There's no. Crunchies. There's no crunching of her crunchies. Mm -hmm. There's no ringing of her bell when mm -hmm. we're trying to go to sleep. It, it's very. So, now we're just trying to get rid of, get used to the, I guess, new normal, Yeah, which is not fun. So, and then, you know, about the time you kind of calm down a little bit, then, then I got her little footprints in the mail. Mm -hmm. And then about the time you calm down again, then I'm going to get the phone call that her ashes are ready. Because <laughs> this is how it goes with mm -hmm. every, you know, every pet, it's like... Okay, it kind of, mm -hmm. you know, and and just from time to time, like we were together earlier and Brett sends me a text about, I was just sitting here thinking about Mandy and realized we don't have to plant a garden this year because we always planted the garden for her, for her, she, for lettuce, because 
then we weren't having to buy it every three days. We could just go out and pick it. Yeah. Because if, if you actually take care of a rabbit properly, they can be expensive. <laughs> I mean, yeah. honestly. So, yeah. It was a rough day. Still kind of rough. But... And it's always rough when it's like the last one in your home. Mm -hmm. But we are now going to be animal free. With the exception of the grand dog coming. <laughs> Which I'm sure by the time he's ready to leave, I'm going to be like, thank God for the silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, you forget, I have all hardwood floors. Yeah. And all I'm going to hear the whole time he's here is of nails. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to drive me insane. <laughs> Not to mention we're allergic. But I understand why they don't want to board. I, I would never want to board one of my mm -hmm. animals. So I completely get it. It's just a shame that his parents are going with because they usually would take care of him. <laughs> yeah. And he would have other dogs to play with because they, mm -hmm. they now are up to two dogs. Oh, okay. Um, but they're... I just know the one. Well, yeah, um... I guess the dog that they got ended up being really attached to Anna. Mm hmm And Gary felt like he didn't have a dog. Oh. So he went and got this cutest little, it's a little Yorkie mix. Mm. It's adorable. So he, they, they have his and her dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess more power to you, but, you know, we always get the sickly animals. We always get the animals that have issues, which is good because we actually will spend the money and mm -hmm. take care of them properly and spend the time. And I mean, you guys knew with Moo Moo every two hours, we're giving her drops and mm -hmm. her drops were expensive. <clears throat> Most people would not have gone through all that. Yeah. Um, so there is a reason that they come to us. I feel it's mm -hmm. just, yeah, after all of it, it's like, no, we can now, now I have to arrange sitters, <laughs> which we always had to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. Alrighty. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. When do we record next? Today's 24th. So, yeah, I was right. So next week we're going to need, or next podcast we're going to need to do a day early. Okay. Because he is mandated. Yep. To work unfortunately for him um oh and that will be actually the day after we go on our trip oh yeah cool so we have actually set a date mm -hmm. um for going to see creepy guy um <laughs> <laughs> well we did get comments about they would love to see <laughs> and they can't wait for the story yes um so you just need to remind me um, when we get there to ask if we can record okay. and we'll try to get, uh, uh, a video of the, um, store itself and mm -hmm. he'll be in it and we should actually do that at the first store too. Yeah. I don't think that they would mind you guys, this store. They have would, their own podcast, don't they? Do they? I think they might. All in stitches. Is that what it's called? A stitch in time. A stitch in time. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Um, it's a really nice store. Um, and it's nice the way they have it set up. Um, and there's something for everybody because there's cross stitch. There's mm -hmm. uh, yarn and knitting and crochet and fabric. And I mean. And there's still space. I mean. You're yes. Not really it's a big building. Uh, they sell organized. sewing machines. Mm -hmm. And it's very nicely set up. Um, so we'll see if we can't, uh, do a video there as well. Yeah. Um, we might just like do our shopping and then ask, mm -hmm. and then we can just kind of do a walkthrough because like, we'll, we laugh at a few times. Yeah. <laughs> or I do. She, she tends to be in one section as I do the whole entire store. Mm -hmm. Um, I got my, I found my spot. <laughs> she likes the cross stitch section. Yeah. Um, well, I tend to go back to the clearance section first. I enjoy the clearance. Actually. Yeah. They, they have some good stuff back there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that the day before a podcast. So yeah, we will try to take some videos. Yes. And Hopefully we'll have some goodies. Oh, we'll definitely have some goodies. Yep. Well, me probably not so much because what I'll probably get is going to be fabric. For the shop, yeah. For the shop. Yeah. So I probably more than likely won't really have anything to show. Well, unless I get stuff at Creepy Guys. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> I feel bad calling him that because he's a really nice guy, mm -hmm. but he's different. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds horrible. It, it does because he is a really nice guy, but it's... What was the name of the shop we went to today? Idea Studios? Yes. They were very nice. They let us shop at first and then showed us some yarn. That they had just recently um, gotten in. And then we held, had a whole discussion on needles. <laughs> As I was looking through and she was looking through, it was funny because I was looking over here and she was looking over and we're like, we switched. <laughs> um, okay, speaking of needles, guys, I, I want your opinion on something or mm. let me know if you own them and what you think. So, and you don't necessarily have to own the squared ones. It's the square Addy Click Square Interchangeables that I was looking at, but you don't have to actually own the square ones. Um, there's other Addy click if you have the addy clicks what do you what do you think about them because i'm thinking they'd be nice that you don't have to have the thing and, and yeah because mine are always coming apart and no matter how much i, I know, tighten yeah. them that's what i hate so i do think like the clicking system would uh really be nice and i have gotten into the addy squared and i saw that they have a addy square interchangeable set that is the click it so if anybody out there has the addy uh click set let me know in the comments what you think of them. Yay, nay, waste of money, good. Just let me know. Yeah. I'd be interested to hear about that. So I've been uh, kind of pricing them and really giving it some thought. So would like some input on that. Yeah, I talked to, I talked her out of it today. So you need. Well, they to didn't have the ones. Research. They they didn't have the ones I they wanted. Did, yeah, they didn't, they have, didn't the have the squares. squares yeah. and I can actually get them um, uh, um, for about slows. forty dollars cheaper. Um, through the normal website that I purchased from because they offer 20% off all Addies. Mm -hmm. So I can get them, you know, like $40 cheaper and it's free shipping. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like I would have to pay shipping or anything like that. So, yeah. but yeah, if you, if you have experience with them, let us know what you think. That way I get some feedback because I, I don't know anybody that has them. No, I don't either. But I've kind of really gotten into the Addies. Um, I really like the square, their square needles a lot. I have actually been knitting with the regular Addies, too, more so yeah. now. I mean, the biggest drawback about them is it's just the way they mark the size on their needles yeah. that I find. Yeah, that is, is kind of a pain You know, because it's on the cable and it's see-through and you, you really kind of got to roll it as you look at well, the size. And, and then unless you keep the package... Um, also, I think I have a couple that I do not have the package for, mm -hmm. but when I go to put my Addies, like when I go to empty a bag, basically before I throw my pattern away, mm -hmm. I look and see what the needle size was I was supposed to have for the pattern. Mm -hmm. And then I put the Addies in that. Right. Right. <laughs> that way I, I don't, cause I have other needles that even though it's on the Chagos, I cannot read Chagos for anything. On the metal? Yeah. I can read those. Chagoos, I cannot. Um, I think part of it is Chagoos, my skin, mm -hmm. like eats it off of there. Oh, okay. Mine doesn't. Um, because on my carbons, mm -hmm. it's the same way. You can't, there's like nothing left. Yeah. I have um, something about the, my pH or something. Yeah. Um, just takes it right off. Yeah. Um, that's why I really like, and I know they're not around. They're officially closed now how the signatures are like engraved in there, mm -hmm. which if I was smart, I have a little en engraving pen. Mm -hmm. I could engrave my needles myself and put, the, engrave the size on the tips. With or without your glasses on? I can see perfectly fine. Speaking of glasses, I'm still wearing my old glasses. Um, <laughs> well, I think the last I talked to you guys was, my new glasses are good, except for one is hurting behind my ear, one's hurting, you know, mm -hmm. cockeyed. Well, then I messed up my shoulder, and I literally could not do my hair for days because I couldn't get my hand 
up to do my hair. So I did finally put my head like upside down and managed to kind of, because I had to keep my arm to my body, to kind of brush it. And I pulled it up in just a piggy tail and it was like curly everywhere. And I was not going to go and try to get glasses adjusted. Well, now I'm to the point I can't remember which ones were tight behind the ears and which ones were cockeyed. So I'm going to have to wear each pair for a day before I can go in and see her. Because <laughs> I can't just, <laughs> like, I won't. Like, they felt fine at first, but it's, like, after I have them on for a couple of hours yeah. is when it starts bothering me. I will get it dealt with eventually, but I, 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 I can see really good with my glasses. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I can, because I'm always, I need, I need to go for my um, test. Well, Brett, Brett <laughs> exactly. you, you and Brett are always the same. Every time you guys are doing close-up, mm -hmm. glasses go on the top yep. of the head. Now, see, I don't have that. I can see real, like, I see better close-up. Then I see at distances. I see, yeah. I'm, I'm nearsighted. I, well, I mean, it doesn't I, make sense because you got to take off your glasses. <laughs> I but. use, I, you know, my bifocal. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use that? Are you not, are you failing your bifocal test? Apparently. <laughs> see, I can pass that. Because they actually moved mine up a couple of prescriptions ago because I play the clarinet. And to read music and then look up at the conductor and go back down, mm -hmm. there was too much of a, like I told him that, and plus I sit at the computer all day. Mm -hmm. So basically, I to fake my eyes into it, um, I don't have a, nor I have a per really long progress progression, and my mid-level is very... There's a lot of it to it. Well, and unfortunately... And I find I don't use my actual bifocal very much itself. Well, unfortunately, like if you were to get new glasses, you have to figure all that out again. Oh, no, because I'm going to tell them the next time. You need to look at my last time prescription. It won't work. <laughs> because the last time I came home and I was nauseous. It, it, <laughs> I was it, like... It won't work. And when I knew immediately, when I put them on, I'm like, oh, no, this is... Um, and like, oh, no. I'm like, you know, I've been shape, in glasses since fourth grade. Yeah, but see, the shape of your glasses mm -hmm. can affect where it needs to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the surface area. Plus, if they change your prescription, mm -hmm. that'll change where it needs to be as yeah. well. So... They're going to change it. Because I know. But, you know, just go back and make... Because I've gotten to the point where I'm doing more of this. So, it needs to be changed. Well, I originally, I was like, I knew my close-up was fine. I could say, yeah. I was kind of like borderline at my distance, whether mm -hmm. they were going to change it. But then I'm like, no, I don't think they're going to because, like, when I need a new prescription, my eyes twitch. Mm -hmm. And I get really bad eye headaches. And I wasn't having that. But then when he had told me, oh, yeah, your distance needs to be up, I was just like, okay. You know, maybe yeah. it does. But then, obviously, it did not. <laughs> and she she even rechecked my um my close up too just to to make sure even though he hadn't changed it she's mm -hmm. like I'm just going to completely do the exam over. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Let me fail it a second time. <laughs> I didn't fail it the first time it was the eye doctor. I still mm -hmm. stand by that. Mhm. Mm all right, you want to remind them of all the things well, if you would like to watch yeah. this craziness again, <laughs> I'm going to come up with oh, something new every crazy. time. Yeah, well, we're a little different. <laughs> our entertainment, our source of entertainment. <laughs> I hope we're entertaining. We amuse ourselves, that's for sure. <laughs> like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Uh, check out the Etsy shop, Knit for Brains Designs, and we will see you guys in two weeks. Bye. Bye.